Matt Cook here, and a lot of people are asking me about taurine. I don't know if you've seen this um, particular study, but there's been a lot of conversation about taurine deficiency as a driver of aging. And this uh, study is okay. There are some studies on animals, basically, and they measure taurine levels, and they find that the taurine levels decline as people get older. Now, this makes it seem like we should supplement with taurine. And there's a link to the lifespan that could extend 12, 15% extra based on these uh, rodent studies. However, 12 or 15% isn't all that much in a rodent study. I would say it's almost noise. And if you want to see what also taurine does <coughs> is it increases prolactin and growth hormone. This is my problem with taking taurine. So um, people think growth hormone is, is really wonderful. Uh, it is not. Um, if you look at uh, growth hormone and prolactin secretion in rats, it seems that the taurine consumption, if you were to take extra taurine, activates through the endogenous opioid system. And it increases growth hormone and prolactin. So prolactin is, <coughs> and actually growth hormone are similar to estrogen. They're um, molecules that are estrogenic, essentially. They uh, inhibit male sexual function. They lower testosterone levels. They're feminizing. Growth hormone has been used by people in Hollywood for a long time, and <laughs> they really aren't doing too well with it, actually. So I don't want more growth hormone. I don't want more prolactin. So that's my problem with taurine. Supplementing taurine may not be such a good idea. Now, I think taurine is useful in some cases. I think it can bring down uh, hypertension. People that are hypertensive um, taking taurine, they can actually lower uh, their blood pressure. There's some very good work on taurine for lowering blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, you might want to try some taurine along with magnesium and calcium and things. Obviously, not as a substitute for your doctor. But uh, taurine itself, eh, I'm not a big fan. I also find that taurine will increase the uh, bile secretion, which could be a good thing, but it sometimes gives a little heartburn and some people have some intestinal issues with it. Um, I think it could be okay. I would probably suggest if I were going to do it, I would probably try a loading dose of maybe three to four grams of taurine for like two weeks and then maybe three grams the next week, two grams the next week per day and then maybe one gram after that and then maybe down to a half of a gram after that because if you load taurine, it seems to work quite well and you don't need to have a whole lot of it to maintain a higher level of taurine in the body. So those are my thoughts about taurine. If you have a question, please, please, please uh, ask the question in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. And you might want to visit dailymedicaldiscoveries.com. And please make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. That really, really helps the algorithm. Thank you so much.